Okay, I'm looking at working on my mid-end game transition today. That's if I get past the opening stage, obviously. But I'm looking at that transition and seeing if I can try and make it better, feel more comfortable with all the concepts we've got now and um, we've been practicing all the um, evaluation analysis and... Oh, come on. What is with the left the game we're having a session like that yeah i think i might have to go into the account um i want to get some practice in if this is the way this is going i'll give it one more stab if it doesn't work out we'll we'll go into the account Well, there's nothing there. Call that a draw, but never mind. Let's see if we can get some practice on the mid end game transition. Doesn't look like this person starting and they're flicking. Okay. Let's attack the pawn. Let's just attack the pawn. Oh, sorry, defend the pawn, not attack the pawn. Thinking far too ahead. So bring the bishop through, attacking the knight to go for simplicity. But I want to know when I'm going into ooh, going into the mid. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Not really sure what the knight's doing. Is it sacrificing itself or something? Let's just take it out of the way. Let's take this pawn. I know it's a poison pawn. Queen comes here. Then they get this pawn. So at least I know. All right, so the queen hasn't come there. So the knight can go and attack the queen. It's not really attacking anything else. And we'll just get bounced around. So we may as well just go back to where we started. They're going to come with the annoying bishop x-ray through to the queen. And we don't have a white square bishop to defend. All right, so they're just throwing stuff out. So I'm going to capture. And put a check on the king. This pawn's got no protection, so probably that's why the bishop came there. So we'll take because we've got a check on the king. And we'll push this pawn to prevent the bishop taking here for now. And they're just dancing with their king. So we shall castle for king safety. So mid game, I don't really want to stay in the mid game too long. I want to transition into end game. So we're going to put a check on the king. It's that old thing that I was mentioning uh, many years ago and the end game opening. In my head, I should be thinking, how do I end the game even from the opening? You know, so the knight can come here and attack the bishop. It's just attacking the bishop. It's got a nice spot here to come here. Dark square bishop. The king is on a dark square at the minute. So I think the only... Mind you, I think we should get the bishop out first because the rooks aren't linked up. But it needs to be a necessary move. This one is attacking a piece that's got no protection. It does give them something to think about. So we'll bring the knight here. And as we mentioned, it does have a nice spot here as well. I'm going to take this because it looks like they have forgotten that it's unprotected so how do we end the game I think we mentioned you know don't want to bake the game do you know what I mean it's like um, taking time over trying to get but it's not quick and dirty tactics either it's bishop can come here bishop can come here in the pawn twice he pushes down pushes there I'm going to attack the knight although really the knight can also jump here can't it and then it's hitting this pawn and the bishop's hitting the pawn so we push this pawn to stop any of that action before we do that i think we'll do that although we could have just taken the bishop off with the knight <laughs> 
Too much calculation. Too much calculation. Simple direct moves to take pieces off the board. Messing about. Dark square bishop can come here, attacking the pawn. It's got no protection. Okay. It's when you've got so many thoughts going on in your head, you just... Ugh, got to take the time. How do we end the game? Don't want to bake the game. Let's just end the game. I think sometimes I do like a... 45 minute timer on for baking the cake you know i don't don't want to do that i want to get one that's ready done looks like we're mobilizing a bit going for the b pawn instantly i'm just saying well let's just defend this here and just push the pawn up I don't want the rook babysitting really. I'm, I've got sights of trying to get the rooks doubled up here to hit the king. Bishop's still got the check on the... Oh! <laughs> That's twice in this game! Twice in this game! I could have got the rook off the board because I would have had a check on the... King. Oh! Oh my god! I need to... Talking. Oh! Twice. Now he's got this pawn here because his rook is on there. Is there a blocker of any sort? There's no blocker, and now he's got this pawn as well with the got a two on one here. Oh my god! All because I missed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm giving them advantage now. But look at the tail of the tape. We have two minor pieces. They have one minor piece and we have two rooks. So we can afford to give up a pawn. We don't need to be greedy. That's my rationale. I'm sticking to it because we've made such a horrible mess of it at the minute. Oh, we could go and attack his rook, but then the knight is going. So I'm going to attack the knight. Is it better coming this way? This That's got nothing... I'm going to attack the knight. Oh, shocking, shocking, shocking. But we can't be greedy. That's the thing with chess. If you've got some type of advantage, then try and work with that advantage. I'm there crying because I'm going to be losing pawns here. So it might equalize the situation. But we've still got more pieces materially in terms of action pieces. Twice missed opportunities. I'm I'm actually gutted. I'm gutted. And they're gonna snowball it. So now this small piece can attack their knight. It's not really going anywhere good, so it's probably gonna go and do we take with the bishop? We can afford to reduce down, I think, because we do have the extra minor piece. And they've gone to a space that we can get it for free, I'm happy. I'm happy transitioning through. Um, we've missed opportunities. Knight taking the bishop earlier on. Getting a nice fork with the bishop on the king and the rook. Missed opportunities. These pieces of gold dust should not be missed. Um, now they've given us a kind of fork thing. So we'll get one of the rooks off. They'll get the bishop. We'll get the rook. So we're seeing stuff. You know, it's starting to build up to work nicely for us, but it's a little bit of a horrendous type way of getting around it. And you'll notice in quite a lot of my games, um, that's how it transpires, you know. It's not the prettiest chess. Some of the games are pretty, but not all of them. So we can go and attack this rook pawn here. Enough. Oh, they've resigned. Okay, very... What's the word now? That was very active. Lots of things to pick up for myself there. And obviously when I'm playing over the board, I'm not talking like this. Um, so that concentration factor really does kick in. I've been doing it for so many years, you think that, well, it shouldn't affect you. But it does. 
because there's more things that I'm thinking of trying to do. And I just want to get it verbalized out there for, you know, my reference. We'll go on to the next one and we want to practice the mid to end game transition. Playing as white again. All right, let's push through the center. So we're wanting to practice the mid to end game transition and it can happen in the blink of an eye. So in essence, we're practicing the end game opening um, that we mentioned many moons ago. Um, there will be a link in the description regarding what is the end game opening. So I don't want to go into those details. So let's have a look and see if we can transition smoothly let's take because we like doing that and we're going to bring the bishop here king doesn't have any company if we castle So it's hard to think sometimes. How can you think of the end game from your opening? It really is about, well, how, how destructive do you want to be? This is a weakness already, but it can be a strength as well, as we know. But let's look at it in terms of the purity of chess. Doubling the pawns is weak as a weakness. So now they're looking to get the pawn back in line. So if we take, then they take, and then the pawns are back in line. Do I really need to be bent to, so bent out of shape over that though? Because if I don't, maybe it's going to be worse for us anyway. But it is a weakness. Maybe we can just push past. But then he can push past and he's advancing his pawn. Then this pawn comes and gets supported. Is there a check, check on his king? I'm going to take, I'm not going to get twisted, bringing his pawns back into line. Doesn't bring the pawns back into line, keeps the weakness. So is this something positive that we can actually utilize? He's kept the weakness of the double pawns as we try and transition into the end game. I'm going to put a check on the king before I go on castle. He's hunting this pawn down, but we can castle. Obviously, the knight wants to develop itself and come out. Oh, well, the bishop's doing that. So our bishop can attack their queen. But the queen is dropping back because it's still going to protect the pawn. Doesn't have to do that. It can do anything it wants, really. So we will attack the queen with the smaller piece. We're trying to think of the end game, targeting the king. But we have to deal with the obstacles in the way at the minute. even drop here looking to try and hit here but the queen is defending at the minute might totally ignore all of that and go maybe no nothing there really no it's either up or down one of those or the shock factor there so our king won't get castled don't think I'm too bent out of shape in this position if we don't get castle to come across here still take the pawn because we've got to check on and he doesn't have any protection on so they've lost their queen so it's a good job we talked it through looking at the potential movements of what they could do but always I think I've covered a few videos of if you've got like a bishop in front of your queen and your queen is not got any protection and you have to be mindful does that bishop have a check on the king so we get it for free so now they're moving quick they're wanting to try and do the same type of thing to us i think we can castle first yeah i think we can castle first and then take this pawn here Well, maybe we're not taking that pawn. Shall we just come across here and attack the rook? 
So I've got to try and savor the moment, but at the same time, still need to try and be positive about my potential counter attacking and attacking position, not fall into a defensive nanny type situation. So this transition from the mid game to end game thing is what we're focusing on. So I'm going to take, because it's a higher piece. So what we don't want to do is overwork the queen now because we've got pieces that still need to develop and get them out into the game. So I think the minor pieces, just bringing them out, we can look to attack the bishop here. And I think we will attack the bishop. Doesn't mean they're going to take, but we can look to trade down. But we will take, so the knight's going to be on our queen. Like I said, don't really want to overwork the queen, but if we come here like that, the knight just jumps back again. Because the knight's going to be attacking us. Doesn't do that, so we don't want to overwork the queen like we said then, so let's get this knight out. And try and look for the appropriate positions for our pieces. Oh, damn it. All right, okay. So we're warming up, we feel like we're getting there. Let's just jump in on the next one. Oh, we've got black this time. Hopefully they're gonna start. Oh no, don't blob, come on. Let me play some black, come on. Oh, they're not going to start, that's disappointing. Oh, back to white again. Oh, they must be getting sick of me. Does that mean I have to go into the account? Oh. Looks like I'm going to have to go into the account to get some games that are just blobbing. Probably the same person that we've just played. Oh, shocking, shocking, shocking. One more attempt and then I'll go into the account. Oh, why again? Come on, people. Oh, we're in. Okay, let's attack. We're practicing the end game, end, mid to end game transition. He said we were staying away from that opening. Let's go here. It might still transpose into that opening, but um, I don't really like it. Comes here, messes the pawns up, you know, doubles the pawns. Let's castle. Just doing it a little bit differently. Don't mean it's going to be effective or anything. Knight's come out to the far side, so he's looking to jump here. Squish my king. It's horrible when you know what's going to happen and you, you don't do anything about it. Let's get the knight up. Let's get the knight up. So end game opening. How do we end this game? Don't want to get caught in any fancy mid-game dancing let's see if we can end it it's not quick and dirty it's looking at good position trying to get good follow-up maneuvers uh, so it's not tactics 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 where it kind of dries out it's uh, looking at trying to oh let's attack this bishop then i think maybe the knight's just gonna come as a blocker So activity, positive activity. Yeah, the knight's just blocking. So the knight can come here. It's managing these squares, a bit, a bit annoying for... There's nothing that can take it out of there as well, apart from another knight. I think this knight's gonna move, which is take, take. We need to rush that. I think we open the dark square bishop. Does that slow me down? Feels like it slows me down. I'm going to just sink the knight in here for now. 
think they'll go slow potatoes and get the bishop here and attacking the knight. They're not doing slow potatoes. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is nice and steady attacking these pawns in the center here. Seeing as they're not doing any major attacks, I'm going to continue with that attack on the two pawns, one of them, whichever one it goes for. Alright, so this has dropped down. It's kind of got no protection on it. Knight moves. Bishop's got no protection on it, so maybe the knight takes the pawn. Oh yeah, that's an interesting one. Bishop takes. Knight takes the pawn. Pawn takes. Rook takes. The bishop. Oh, do we win out anything there? Bishop takes. Knight takes. So we've got a pawn, pawn. Knight. Take. Well, it works out even, doesn't it? That's what they'll do. Let's go with that. That's what I think they'll do anyway with some fancy tactic type thinking. I'm hoping they don't do it. But we feel like we have some sort of defensible rationale for whatever they're going to throw. They're taking the time, but I do think that they already saw this. Maybe not, because the signal's going, No, don't leave the game, people, come on! Ah. Oh. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go into the site and uh, I'm gonna have to go in because I can't get practice like this, can I? Oh, they've moved. Oh, right, okay. So they've flicked off and come back on again with some brilliant move, is it maybe? So queen takes because it's got no protection, but then the knight can take the pawn because the bishop is on the queen. Yeah, they're a bit fancy these, aren't they? I can see you. So if we bring the bishop here now, and just x-ray through to the bishop. Does the knight still take the pawn? Oh, knight, no. Knight still takes the pawn. We take, bishop takes the bishop. This bishop's causing me problems with my calculation, so I think I'm best off moving this bishop out of the way. Everywhere it seems like they've got some sort of nice tactical type dance. So I'm just basically just bringing the bishop back here. It might not be that they had it, but oh, left the game. <sighs> and the back again. That's too much flicking. That's too much flicking, dude. Okay, the knight's got here, but the queen will take. So we will just attack the knight. We bring the pawn into the center. What do we take with the queen? Oh, now they're starting to move quick. So there's an issue now. There is an issue, little flicker. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't want to exchange. Knight's here. How do we end the game? Now we end the game. Hit the knight. Where does he actually want to go? Let's hit the knight. King's not got a threat at the minute. Knight's guarding that square on this diagonal. Their bishop's not out at the minute. King's looking a little bit hemmed in. And so it looks like we... Oh, they're giving pieces up, are they? I don't trust this player. Take. He's making space around our king with his queen. So Oh, yeah, so we take. Then his queen comes shooting here. Where's my, my line not working? Queen comes shooting here to attack this pawn. Because we can hit the knight. Let's take. He's on our knight. Can move the knight around. Then it's guarding this square. The queen's not coming here. It's also hitting the pawn. 
or we can just take this knight off the board I'm going to take this knight off the board if the bishop takes then we get the bishop as well I mean he can still carry on just taking the knight actually piece for a piece type situation I just lose out then got the knight there took the knight and he's not taken back so we'll take with the check on the king and we'll move this knight attacking the bishop twice it's also attacking the pawn as well I don't know if the bishop's moving somewhere with it Got to check on the king at last with the dark square bishop. Going to hit the bishop with our bishop. The may just attack one of the knights. Do have a check on the king, but it's kind of nugatory, really. There's no such thing as a nugatory check on the king. A waste of a time check then because it go there. Oh my god, they have done as well. And we go and put the check on. King comes here. Where does the knight go? It can't come back here, it can't come back there. So, what I think was going to happen is we're going to get the queen off the board with the fork. End game opening different mindset unless the knight can be taken I can't see that let's take with the check on the king and get the bishop off the board oh damn right well it's a half decent session but maybe I need to go into the account I think we'll jump in on the account. Okay, going for a 1510 in the account. See how we get on. We've had a bit of a warm up, but it didn't feel to stretch us. So let's just jump in here and get our butts kicked. Well, it's taking ages. Okay. Okay, let's push in the center. We're trying to practice the mid to end game transition. Let's just develop the bishop and get castled. Maybe they're not going to allow us that, so they're going to go for the fried liver. As 1600 going for fried liver. Cheap stuff. Let's go here. They're still thinking about it. Look at them. Still thinking about it. You can tell. Let's open up the white square bishop. We're interested in going for the doubling of the pawns. Because we're practicing supporting the doubling of the pawns. Because we don't want to change our playing style. We want to support our playing style. If they don't take, we take. But maybe they're thinking, let's get a bit arty and just attack the knight or something. How do we end how do we end the game? <clears throat> okay, let's just take the bishop off the board. Now it's in this position here. What is it actually managing at the minute? Uh, we could hit the knight and just send it back to where it came from because I don't think there's anything that it's doing that's good there. But a smaller piece attacking the higher piece can't be wrong in this situation. Don't need to overthink that. When I start overthinking, then I start thinking that they can do all sorts of stuff. And then I may as well not make a move. So 
So the de uh, they're deliberating, but I think it's going. There's no other space really. It's not going to go here. It's not going to go here. Can't go there. Can go back here, I suppose. So two spaces it can go here, Oops, there, here, and here. One beggar's belief as to why that move is taking so long.
doesn't like that pawn push so maybe I'm panicking too much about nothing knight f6 so it's bringing the knight up mm -hmm. bringing the knight up to do what looks like it's blocking the pawn did I not just move my knight from there yeah I did so I didn't like that same bishop d8 blocking my rooks no you see i'm not a fan of those types of moves no 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 i know that look obviously the computer's seen it right but it was hard enough was having to move the knight back giving space for taking this off here doesn't like that poor move at all damn so i'm not a fan of having the knight here what's it doing not stopping that from jumping in here yeah. no I don't no. okay carry on probably still make the same mistakes if it ever happened again <laughs> right so it doesn't like that doesn't like that doesn't like that. it felt very uncomfortable that's the key thing it just felt very uncomfortable and we're just sitting waiting for the opponent to make a mistake we're trying we think we're making a good move here you know attacking the pawn type thing taking the queen off of the line of the rook type situation we're trying to get some sort of attack to going towards the king area here but the computer definitely doesn't like that so we get a pawn but it doesn't like that yeah it's a free pawn hmm Mull that one over in my head. 